as much as the conventions are a chance to win voters over, the real point is to pump up people to vote. And no one knows pumps better than these queens. Helping to turn out more votes in their own way. You might have seen these fabulous ladies strutting their stuff on the latest season of RuPaul's Drag Race. But now they're here on a mission to get people to vote. Okay, so first things first, who's tough right now? Oh, absolutely not. Uh -uh. Oh, God, no. no. It's unnecessary roughness in these crazy times. The illusion is that I am tough. Stand up, Heidi. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. fantasy is above. So if you're untucked, then I'm untucked, which means this bra is out of here. Yes! Yes! Let them free! Let the girls loose! Now that my ladies were free, it was time to move from liberation to representation. So y'all know that we've been hearing from a lot of real people during these conventions, but so far, we haven't heard from drag queens. Because they didn't ask us, girl. <laughs> I think I would definitely give shows at the convention. I think it's very important to be a, a leader within our community. And did you know that one out of five LGBTQIA people in our country are not registered to vote? So we can reach a lot of people. One out of five is a lot of mother people. That's like Queer Eye without Anthony. Why is that? I think that people don't think that it's important and a uh, hundred million people did not vote in the last presidential election, which is which is wild, a hundred million? Girl. They should make a law where you can't line up to buy an iPhone unless you show your I voted sticker. Yes. And no matter what side of the aisle you fall on, it's all gonna affect you. It is called the circle of life, mama. Um, everything affects us all, so we are in this together. If you want better schools, you gotta vote. If you want better roads, you gotta vote. If you wanna make sure that our transgender brothers and sisters are gonna be taken care of, you gotta vote to make sure these things are happening because our rights are being taken away and we gotta make sure we vote to make sure that they are. And drag queens have always been political activists throughout history. They were at Stonewall, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, helped fight the HIV crisis in the 80s, and they've carried on our founding father's tradition of wearing wigs. So why not carry that torch into the most important election of our time? I'm the co-chair of Drag Out the Vote. And what we're doing is we're getting all these drag ambassadors and we're sending them out with social media content, videos, PSA scripts, resources for voter registration and more honey. We're doing shows and we're getting people excited about voting. If you are excited about something, people will start to feel that excitement. It's like contagious. No coronavirus here, but uh, it's very contagious. We can pull an all-nighter, then we can go to the polls. We'll have a little party. Chicken wings. The poll party. Ho out the vote. Ho out the vote. Uh, ho out the vote. That, that, <laughs> that is a campaign I think people can get behind. But let's go back a bit. You said something about becoming a drag ambassador. So how does one become that? Yeah, why you you wanna you wanna be a drag queen? Well, I mean, if you're looking, I don't really have anything prepared. Well, maybe this one character I've been working on. Ooh. Oh, she gives Ooh. characters. Y'all ready? Uh -huh. Yes. Da, 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 da. I am Kitty Glitter. Oh. Ugh. Look over there! Perhaps my drag concept did need some work, but I was in luck. I'm gonna get you ready, honey. If I was going to drag out the vote, I needed my fairy drag mothers to help me get ready. More blush, more blush. Go say, give us a little fish face. Yeah, there it is, there it is. More hairspray, more hairspray! <laughs> oh, woman! So, how do I look? Now that's drag mama. Now that my face was beat for the gods, it was time to shoot my first PSA as a drag ambassador. Hi, this is 13th Amendment here telling you to hoe out that vote. Drag queens known to tuck, but I want you to tuck your vote to that ballot box. And why should you register to vote? It's the best way to use your voice. Vote. 
My name is Britta Filter and I approve this message.